Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? <laughs> because I have. Back in 2008, my home was impacted by the remnants of Hurricane Ike. The storm swept through Louisville, Kentucky and caused a lot of damage. It left over 300,000 people without power, my family included. I remember the afternoon that the storm hit. I was home alone. I saw an entire tree branch fall on my family's car. Our trampoline, patio furniture, and trash bins were just swept out of sight. So, what did this bored 10-year-old without power do during the storm? Probably the smartest thing that any kid has ever done. With this kite from the Dollar Tree, I could have my own set of wings. With my feet on the ground, I'm a bird in flight. With my fist holding tight to the string of my kite. 70 mile per hour winds were nothing on this 70 pound boy. Oh, 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 let's go fly a kite up through the highest heights. Let's go fly a kite. Those cars are soaring up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. Oh, let's go fly a kite. When I sent it flying up there, all at once I was lighter than air. After being outside for about 30 seconds, the wind to my back, I had realized that my kite wasn't the only thing that took off, and I was airborne right across my front yard. And if I'm flying solo, at least I'm flying free. To those who ground me, take a message back from me. Tell them how I am defying gravity. I'm flying high, defying gravity, and you can bring me down. And after landing, with no significant injuries, I had realized that during my airborne adventure, the wind had claimed my kite. It sent it soaring up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. Oh, Hurricane Ike took my kite. Oh, no.